we're back at the XDK launcher. However, there's now uh, some new cool games on here. I have no idea what that is. That's a Japanese game and a US game. And we're running on what is presumably a European DVT, so that'll be interesting. Um, but we've also got uh, Xbox Partitioner on here. This is version 1.3. Pretty sure I can launch it from there. Yeah, see, it's not very happy that it's using an official BIOS. So we press Y to continue. And all we can do in here is uh, cycle through the things. A, okay, that makes sense. Don't know why that doesn't pop up to begin with. Press start to begin. <laughs> okay, so. So I could split it 250s. 104. You know, 104 sounds good to me. Uh, so start writes the table. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Use it's then formatting. Done. Okay, so now I just drop out of this. Pressing the buttons again. Oh, that did not work. Oh boy. Uh in-game reset didn't work, so if it wants to change the partition size, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to press back, and any other button to quit. That'll dump us back at the old menu, the XDK launcher. And then we just go right on down to Unleash X. And hopefully... Yep, we now have an F drive. So those games I've installed are probably on the E drive, which is why it's lost a little bit of space. It's lost over a gig. So what I'll do is I'll jump onto FTP and be right back. Just one thing I thought of, there's um, there's actually a file that can allow you to access the F drive through the XDK launcher. Um, all you need to do is FTP into your Xbox while logged in to Unleash. Um, username is Xbox, password is also Xbox. Um, and then you need to pop F drive .dxt into the DXT folder. So that's E drive dev kit DXT and just in there and then reboot your Xbox and anything that's on your F drive will hopefully show up on the XDK launcher. At least that's the only reason I can think of as to why I would have that file. So apart from that, what else was I doing? I was um Oh that's right, I was moving the games. to the F drive. One well, doesn't look like it copied. Doesn't look like it did anything.
directory exists. Okay, well, let's copy the contents of the directory then. Try this one. Nope, didn't like doing that. I might give it a reboot on the Xbox side. We'll just see if we can uh, have the F drive showing up through the XDK launcher. A bit of luck we will. That wouldn't do much at this point because there's nothing on there. So I'll pop back into Unleash. Actually save the dashboard settings this time. Drive still registering the correct size. Pretty intuitive. So going to the F drive. Before we do that, I just delete this off. Put a thing there because I could access it and I wasn't quite sure where it was. I thought was that the F drive? No, it was the H drive. to the F, yep. Should do is copy that folder. <laughs> Sounds about right. Sniffles come from. So look at that, we're getting a rate of about 13 mega second, that's not too bad. That's running off uh, an SSD and an Xbox original. So it's got another minute to go, so let's just have a quick look over here at the. Um, the FTP side of things. Oh, does not like that. Yeah, that seems to be working. So that's a little curiosity. The FTP client didn't want to do its thing. But because I'd copied them to the E drive earlier, which I shouldn't have done. Oh, it's now letting me do things with them. So that's good. So once it's done copying, I'll delete that games folder. I'll leave the apps folder there because that's kind of important. I guess if these games show up on the XDK launcher, then that means that the F drive DXT is working. Um, but it's probably a good idea to have the apps stay on the E drive because if that breaks, then you can't load Unleash X, which could be problematic. So we're about seven more seconds. And it's successfully copied. Good. Good, good, good. I 
don't actually know. I mean, I've used this for so long, I don't actually know where I'm supposed to put the games exactly for them to be detected. That's pretty bad of me. Now, I might actually... Yeah, that's right, I need to delete the games folder. First... And it's gone. And we'll initiate a reboot here, which just dumps me out to here, of course. Press the button. show up here, it means that F-Drive thing's working, which they are not. Interesting, it's quite possible I've got to copy them across to the B-Drive, not the E-Drive. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense if you think about it. So we'll head back over to here, and I'll just get uh, Windows open. So we're back here on the Windows side, we've got F drive here, which is impossible to see with this black background, and yellow neighborhood. So I've got that one. And I guess we want to actually get rid of it from the DXT here. Yep. So this E drive E drive volume dash B, so this is actually just creating an E drive equivalent as a B drive because the E drive's already in use because it's normally where you store the dev kit stuff. I guess it sort of makes sense. So dev kit DXT. Looks like the same folder to me though. XT, okay. Read the readme. This file adds uh, device hard disk partition 6F drive support to the XDK launcher. Place F drive.dxt in the EDXT on your debug Xbox and reboot. So there is an EDXT drive. Pretty sure if I copy this across, I go to the B drive, dev kit, DXT, F drive. Yeah, so they're linked in whatever way. That's fine. Well, at least we can see the games aren't showing up. So if we just give it an old fashioned reboot again. show up. I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, for me it doesn't matter too much. Because ultimately I'm just going to be launching Unleash X every time. And if I could work out the apps and games directory, that would also be really cool. <laughs> but until then I'll just use File Explorer. to load the games. Oh, that's a lot of things. Oh, there it is. So, big mother truckers to truck me harder. Oh. Please have a longer title. <laughs> Empire Interactive. We're going to lose audio so we don't get any copyright infringements because I'm sure there'll be some music. Okay. So that loads up okay. <laughs> now I'll try doing in-game resets. 
Let's see if that does anything. No. In-game reset doesn't work either, which is a bit annoying. So you've got to power off, power back on, I guess. Which is okay, so that was a US game. NTSC. U. And I'm going to try a uh, NTSC J. Must admit, Xboxes are not my uh, cup of tea usually. Too many fans inside them. F Drive, games, other game, XBE. So there you go. Media Quest. All right, reserved. Kids Station Incorporated. Never heard of any of this stuff. Don't quite know what that's saying. Something about an Xbox. Just talking about the blocks. Oh, it's one of these things with the little. Oh, this is difficult. Like a Lesty. Oh, what did I do? Oh, man. I'm not very good at shmups. Oh no, firing bullets, that's even worse. Alright, that's it, I'm done. So, thanks for watching, we got somewhere. Um, hopefully you'll get somewhere too. So the takeaway is to use uh, FTP over the, um, the neighbourhood program, Yellow Neighbourhood, or even the official neighbourhood program, because they tend to crash quite a bit. FTP seems to be quite a bit more reliable on these Xboxes. Uh, thanks for watching, McRetro signing out.